Hello everyone and thank you for coming to Deb Chanel 28's world where we get down and we talk about everything. But this is gonna be my new spin off. Uh we're gonna talk about the mess. When it's anything that's considered messy, 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 and we don't understand it. This segment's gonna talk about we talking about the mess. Okay? So welcome to my first edition. Of welcome to the mess, all right. And we're gonna be talking about Cardi B, yes, and Tasha K. I wasn't gonna touch this subject until the ruling had come down to it. Okay, this is one for the court books, it's being filed. Da 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 da. Cardi B won or Tasha K won. Well, <coughs> in this incident, the I guess she would be the plaintiff, I guess, since she brought on the lawsuit, but anyway, she won, and I was happy for her. And you know, we have YouTubers out there, such as myself. We speak only of my opinion. And if I definitely have something that I say I experienced, I went through, that ain't going to be allegedly. I'm going to tell you, this is what I was subject to. This is what I totally experienced. This is what I took away from the situation. Okay? It ain't going to be no allegedly or nothing like that. Okay? And I will have proof to, you know, tell you where when how and what was going on okay but this particular subject is different because tosh k on her platform online with tosh k she was very belligerent she was very much so a matter of factly new and she had receipts that she was dropping all this mess on cardi b now we all know youtubers you know we get the bad brunt of everything. But when you have big outlets such as these that I'm showing you, when they drop out news saying that same regurgitated shit that we said, do you all, meaning fans, viewers, whatever of our content as YouTubers, do y'all go and blast these type of heavy hitters? Do y'all go and say, y'all know what y'all talking about? Y'all gonna get y'all calm? Y'all gonna do this? Y'all gonna do that? You know, try and, bla you know, go tit for tat with us. No. So if you don't do it to them, don't do it to us. Okay? We only have an opinion. Just like those larger platforms that you just got finished seeing, they have their platform. And they do say, this is what's happening in the news. This is what's trending. That's their words they use. They don't have to say allegedly, but some of them do. I have found, <coughs> um, do say allegedly, but since they're on a higher platform, they can legitly say, uh, this is what's trending in the news. This is what was reported on this celebrity. And they give you the whole footage and everything. And then they be like, okay. They don't necessarily have an opinion because they just showed you everything. They're just letting you know. Okay, it's called propaganda. They're going to show you what they found out and you take it on your own accord. But we ain't taking no liability for it. You see what I'm saying? That's the same thing with YouTubers, people. Get it through your head. We are no better than the heavy hitters, the big outlet people. We give you news that you can use and do whatever you want to do to reprove it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Take it for what it's worth. Over here, I always tell y'all, hey, we talking about having a conversation. We sit down like we at home and we like, damn, did you see what was trending in the news today? Or did you see what was going out there on, on so and so and so and so? I Meaning we're talking about a celebrity, okay? Well, we could be talking about our family members, but somehow they intertwine. But that's what you get. Got it good. Never going to explain it to you all again. And I ain't talking about my family members that love to come over here and have a good, decent conversation. I'm talking about the, the naysayers. The ones that come in with no type of facial recognition on their little avatar. And this, that, and the third. I mean, I, I've shown who I am. If you go to my community tab, look at why I started YouTube. I don't lie to you. It's a supplemental income. I'd come in here to have a chit-chat and get paid. All right? I don't ask y'all for super chats. I don't ask y'all for donate me no money, this, that, and third. Because this is what I do. This is what I chose to do. So why should I have y'all uh, pay me for it? People get on pay, pay, what do you call it, Patreon, memberships. No, I have a real job. <laughs> I just like to talk to people sometimes. I like to gossip, okay? I know I shouldn't be. But I just like to spread my opinions around here and there. And it just is what it is. Those who have not seen cast the first stone okay i'm sure the stones that you're throwing on me you could throw back at you because why are you sitting up there giving me all this 
tit for tat in the um chat room trying to fuss with me or put me in my place you're doing the same thing then you're doing the same thing to me that you're talking about i'm doing to your local favorite celebrity i mean come on make it make sense but anyway i've had my heyday my say let's talk about cardi b how she showed up and showed out and that's one thing i want to do when i do retire i want to go down there to the courthouse and just sit and be amongst different court cases like when i get bored just to stimulate my mind and stuff like that i want to go and sit into some court cases but i didn't really find the news uh local news our ajc uh newspaper down here or any uh local news stations was talking about carter b and tasha cage trial it was more so youtubers that live here or live in the surrounding areas they came down and participated in the briefing and this uh comings and goings of um what was going on between these two women now tasha k is not a native she never was born and raised here she migrated on down here or call herself coming down to georgia like we some big i don't know mecca of um in music industry and industry and all that i mean we have some in, in, you know some um moguls down here i think they moguls or whatever but i don't idolize anybody i either like you or love you i'm indifferent which is one way or the other but i'm not gonna be like ooh, you know idolizing you like you're my god no 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 you're human just like me you would turn back to dust as which we all were created from and it just is what it is but child i was just using portia williams to show that you know portia she, she's different from carter b Carter B on put her shit out there. She ain't on no what well, she was on some kind of ratchet hip hop uh Miami I think or hell it might have been Atlanta, I can't remember. But that was my first taste of her. And I mean I just see her as this fun loving, uh real jokester, very musically talented, body, face, and showing attitude of intelligence. I like her, you know what I'm saying? On those uh, characteristics I just named, you know, I ain't really into her music videos because I could be some sus. It could be some suspect idea ideologies I could put on her. Like, I'd be damn if I'm gonna come out here and trash somebody and say I know they did this, I know they did that, unless I got proof. But Tasha K, she was over there saying the sun. I know she did this. I have proof she did this. But from what I'm hearing in court, it was none of that. It was like everything was allegedly. But she didn't say allegedly. She said this was the God honest truth. And, you know, whatever she was reporting on, whatever celebrity she was reporting um, um <coughs> excuse me, uh, reporting on at the time. You see, you see what I'm saying with them, them hand signals right there? To me, I'm like. Uh, could this be an initiation process that her and Carter B is going through with the elites? Is Tasha K trying to clam up and could uh, Carter be her handler? That's what I saw for my conspiracy theory people. It's just That just came in my mind when I kept seeing these sixes being thrown up. Anybody that understands uh, the Illuminati, anybody that understands uh, conspiracy the theories, y'all know where I'm going with it. And I think Tasha K, if I'm not mistaken, has some checkerboards, black and white checkerboards, duality up in her camp, meaning her dwellings. Um, but like I said, that's just me. That's you know, that's my opinion. I, I don't know. Anybody want to get in them comments? We can discuss. But when people throw up hand signs and, and, and be doing certain finger to face poses, I mean, you just it's it's it's, it's a uh, research process y'all got to go through. <coughs> but I wouldn't be so far fetched to say this whole sham of this whole case was built on a ritual. And that's all I'm going to say. Y'all can take it for what you want to do with it or whatever. Because how? And I hope they both have healing from this situation. But like I said, I just feel it's a, a ritual. That's what's playing in my heart that's going on. And they're trying to dupe the people. You see what I'm saying? But like I said, take it for what it's worth. Do your own research on what I just told you. And then you'll probably be pondering. Because everything that's... You know, even like local news, this is what they want to program in our heads that this is what's happening. This is the truth. This is, and it could be another whole different picture. This whole mess going on could be distracting us for something worldwide, global that might be going to happen out there. You know what I'm saying? Is it we so caught up in this, that, and the third? And yes, yeah, she should have settled. Any normal, uh, by buying citizen that got themselves caught up on a platform such as being a YouTuber and entertainment, uh, celebrity gossip, uh platform program uh type of show i would sell them you know what i'm saying if, if, oh no hell no nah, i wouldn't sell them i would have took them videos down <laughs> 
if she would have personally contacted me and said baby girl why are you doing this to me or she personally made a video to me saying girl why are you doing this all this stuff that you saying this is not true where are you getting your information from you know da, da, da. and then i would say can we uh trade emails girl can we trade phone numbers i know i probably won't get your real phone number but this is my real phone number can we talk about it then i could tell you who told me this who told me what and then you can go do do work on them and leave me the hell alone you know but i'm sure it was not a conversation like that that happened and, and you know it just is what it called probably Carter B would say okay that that half told you that she said this about me he said that oh okay okay dr take all the videos down and I'm gonna send you a check and we're gonna be squared but I'm gonna handle that you know I'm pretty sure Carter B would have probably said some shit like that and everything would have been squared because she could have started talking about something else but on her platform for what I saw because I used to watch her and um I used to be subscribed to her and then it's like she started turning you know my stomach upside down i said then why is she saying this stuff and uh and matter of fact i do know firsthand that some youtubers who are up there they get information from our celebrities our um uh, stars to definitely paint another picture of them okay i ain't gonna say how i got the information or whatever but it's a known fact out there that's why you have some platforms that be like so gun ho for certain celebrity or reality stars. They just be so gun ho they ain't saying nothing that's true to form. You know what I'm saying? Like call a spade a spade. You know they did wrong in the public eye and it just wasn't morally right. Just call them out on that and keep it moving. You know tap their hand in the other words. Because everybody else going to be tapping your hand. Your family members going to be tapping your hand. Your friends going to be tapping your hand. Especially if you acting out of character and your demeanor is just piss poor. You know what I'm saying? From what you're normal normally being shown out their ass okay but uh <coughs> yeah i call it with piss as hell and i'm like i got to listen to some of them stories i said shit i would be pissed as hell too let me have a conversation with this person so technically on behalf of carter b she did give her two options you know like stop talking about me you know can you just can you do this can you do that uh can you take the videos down you know, I'm going to have to, you know, take you to court. I'm going to have to provide a cease and desist of everything. You know, she was just reaching out to her in a normal way that anybody would. You know, when they're feeling like they're being defamed or they're being uh, taken advantage of. But like I said, Carter B never, I never saw Carter B doing all this stuff. Ain't nobody really other outlets that was worth their salt and their grain and their eth ethicalness said anything like that on Carter B. You know, just so it's just one person. I'm like, wait a minute. Where's her proof? Because, you know, most people say like Portia Williams. Because a lot of people say I dog her out or whatever. But I'd be speaking truth. I'd be speaking facts. Because guess what? I bought her autobiography book. Okay? She said all this stuff about herself. Ain't that shit I'm lying about? I, I told you where my resource was. Hey, her herself. The queen of Thotland. She even called herself Thotland. You know, she wrote this book, Pursuit of Portia get it it's 13 dollars might be lesser than that now hell it might be in a dollar store for all i know but when you get people that tell you stuff that act a certain way and they ain't apologizing for it that's good content because you are the source of the content you put yourself out there so that's why i say i ain't i, I, I ain't got them but kudos to carter b you know because Tosh K shouldn't be out there doing all that i'm just saying from a moralistic point of view from a uh characteristic point of view you know what if somebody did that to her you know what i'm saying yeah un unsolicited stuff about her husband unsolicited stuff about her her child you know would she not be mad so i'm like it was a good faith effort part on carter b to definitely um try to resolve the issue out of the press but um pretty much she didn't want to be done that way you know she was talking about uh cardi b's husband was cheating on i'm like okay that ain't news some men do cheat on their wives and some women do take them back you know what i'm saying that's their business i mean you could have just reported cardi b took her it cheated her husband back again <laughs> you know what i'm saying or basically allegedly or something to that degree but uh everybody know and Carly even said so herself he cheated okay it's cool but i took him back you know end of story and you know it just is what it is and then she reported meaning um what do you call it um uh tasha k had said cardi had stds okay saying she was you know just doing a whole lot of unnecessary stuff 
of divulging, you know, information, especially when you have shit to back it up yet. Um, just, and just totally shaming the, the woman, you know, talking about her body parts, talking about what she did in the past, and just so much, so much, you know, I'm like, mm, I'm not going to report like that, I'm just going to, you know, be on, okay, what you showed me yesterday is what I need to see today, you know, unless you're having a bad day, you can come back and say you're sorry, because, you know, nobody's above reproach, nobody's above criticism, you know what I'm saying, if you're acting foul, you're acting foul, from the top, to the bottom from the top of the head to the bottom of the bowl you know what i'm saying it just is what it is but um yeah i just said whoa, whoa. <laughs> but i just don't see it just don't make sense y'all it just don't make sense that you're gonna go in and say one thing and one thing on your platform that you got all this proof this that and the third and you you know you're gonna release it when it's time and then from what you, when you get in the courtroom you ain't even got this hype that you have on your show that you present to your viewers you know you're clammed up you uh uh and this is coming from eyewitnesses accounts and definitely shout out my girl the red lipstick hustler lily who be on everybody platform just showing up and showing out i mean i don't know if she's a i don't think she's a youtuber i don't believe but she be's on um tisa tales show she's one of her correspondents over there now giving us live uh, play by play blow blah blow of what's going on in uh, Fulton County Courthouse here down in Georgia and like I said if I had time and I wasn't recovered well now I would have been at work but I ain't gonna lie to you but if I had retired around this time this stuff was going on I would bought me a sandwich I would probably had my daughter take off her job sometime to go down there to the courthouse and I would have been sitting here taking notes and I would have been coming to y'all giving y'all the play by play the blow by blow because I was I could say I was actually there and I took detailed notes on stuff that I found pivotal pivotal to ball to report back to the masses okay i'm my eyewitness account of what i saw you know them playing the, the tapes of you know her on cardi b's interactions for the negative and how she really felt about cardi and how much she gonna wipe her behind with that cease and desist letter that uh, uh, Cardi's attorneys had brought to her. I was like, "Ooh, honey, what you drunk, Tasha? What you drunk when you saying that stuff? Cause that that's that's piss poor right there. I wasn't saying nothing about no legal document. What I'm gonna do with it? Oh no! And then they can show it back to me in my face. I mean, how could you refute <laughs> or debunk anything when they got live videotape of you saying stuff like that out of your own mouth? I'm like, oh. <laughs> Why you just didn't sell them? Why you just didn't sell the girl? Or why you just didn't take the videos down? That would have been more uh, pleasing to your pocketbook, I'm sure. But I don't know. I, don't, I still don't think this story is over. I still think it's going to be developing. Uh, because my whole thing, if I was uh, Cardi B, uh, first and foremost, we taking them videos down. Because that's the main thing that brought us to the situation in the first place. So the videos will have to go. Okay. Take the whole channel down. And, and, and then I'll get to my punitive damages. And all things that need to be awarded to me. For all my suffering. And all my uh, contemplations of possibly committing suicide. Over this whole debacle of a mess. Uh, you know that kind of stuff. But that would be my first goal. We need to have the jurors rule on. Uh, taking her videos down, taking her channel down, any other type of channel she may bring up where it's going to be talking about me. Unless she's going to do it. Nah, we just want to take it down. Cause we, even if she didn't get paid for the money, somehow she would find a loophole and get paid. And I don't have to, you know, then I have to go sit and watch or have my people watch and report back to me. Uh, what videos that said this, that, and third so I can go and look at it. Because I just keep seeing like you know she keeps going up this avenue with um um what's his name uh uh carter b she's gonna it seems like it's not very much so obsession so with her doing this who's to say she won't create another channel you know what i'm saying i mean is she gonna stop doing this because then carter b gonna uh, be right back in the civil lawsuit again and I'm like, so we just have to cut the head, the sn they cut the head off the snake, okay? That's doing the offensiveness, and that's Tasha K. We need to take everything, and then she needs to talk about something else that she knows about to be concrete, 
where she definitely can make a living off of it if that's what she wants to do. Because I'm like, is she trying to be Wendy Williams, y'all? Is she trying to be Wendy Williams? And we can see. Because I don't know about Bertha. I'd be damned if I want to be Wendy Williams, okay? Or I want to be this person that be dropping news that's not true. But like I said, on Wendy Williams' platform, she provided truth. You know what I'm saying? And then she provided her opinion on some of the stuff she was bringing out. Or her uh, staff was bringing, her, bringing out for her to talk about. But as we can see, look what, look, 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 look what Wendy sacrificed, okay? Her well-being. Her, her mental health, her stability, her being alone now. Because when you make your life and your living surrounding about talking about people. See, that's the sixes I'm talking about. So, I think Tosh trying to elevate on another level that's not spiritual. It's, it's more so black, darkness. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what do you call that? The creep keep, uh, Shit, I can't think of it right now. But, um, the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think. That's my opinion now. Not saying it's true, but that's what the vibe is giving me. Uh, my gut is telling me. But, uh, my intuition is alerting me. Of, uh, that's the kind of stuff Tarsha's going into. But anyway, um, what was I saying? Hell, I forgot, y'all. I forgot. But I don't know. That's why I say y'all need to be a little bit more, uh, uh, what do you call it? Easy on these YouTubers out here, such as myself and my other fellow male and female YouTubers out there, okay? Be easy, okay? Take it easy on me. It's just a Adele song. Uh, whatever. But anyway, because y'all, if y'all don't get on these big heavy hitters into, um, what do you call it? Um, networks like the talk, the view. And other people out on the show too. If y'all don't go take that negative energy over there to them. Why y'all gonna bring it to us? Okay. Why? I wonder. It's because we respond back. See, we, we crazy for responding back. But I ain't really crazy. I don't call myself crazy. Because I, I like people's opinions. Just be respectful. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't gonna agree with me. Everybody ain't gonna line up with me. I don't expect them to. Because then we'll just have a lot of sheep and leaders. Okay? We need some leaders. We need some followers. And we need... You know, some people to say, oh, no, you know, they can't decide. We need our, you know, indecisive people as well. Okay, that's what makes the world go round. That what makes everything tick to the top. Okay, but yeah, I mean, if, uh, if Tasha did all this and it seems like she did all this and it was several people of her peers, her race, uh, uh, whatever they do when they be up there selected jurors. By looking at your testimony and all your videotapes, they say it was 20, I don't know. Uh, yeah, anybody in their right mind that's morally uh, corrected and has discipline about themselves and love every man and woman, every dog, every creature on earth, girl, of course they're going to side with Cardi. Had the stuff I, I uh, heard on your channel, I had to wipe my memory clean from that because it just it didn't sit well with my spirit Tosh. i ain't gonna lie it didn't sit well with my spirit but um if i was Cardi b that's what i would be asking for all those videos that she's made in the past and independent she tried to make on me in the future they need not be monetized and they need not be put up okay or we'll find ourselves right back in court doing more litigation then uh, you know, call it Cardi, she was trying to speak her mind with Bernie Sanders over there. You know, trying to, you know, figure out what's going on in the politic world, politician world. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, whoa, Cardi, wait a minute, girl. I didn't know you was an activist. You were trying to be an activism put on your, under your belt, too, girl. Child, she's a mother. She's an entertainer. She's a wife. She's an entrepreneur. <laughs> she, she's over there messing with politics now. Uh, and some other things I was going to talk about what Cardi do. Hell, she might even be a YouTuber before it's all over with. Where she go and talk about these little bloggers. <laughs> Not such as myself. Because I don't try to experience. But if she did try to put me up there, that would be hilarious. You know what I'm saying? And I would have to be doing some rebuttal too. And hell, we might become friends. <laughs> but I wouldn't be surprised if Cardi showed up and showed out and had her own YouTube channel. Hell, it's not too far-fetched because the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Candy Burris, has one. Okay, she's doing very well over there. I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of her. 
I'm so proud of her family, honey. They keep her well rounded and keep her down. And she she does take care of family. And if that's her sin, do it, baby. Every day, all day. Because I'm sure uh, they really respect you and love you for that. But, you know, I, I just can't get with Candy Todd. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't see this woman working hard for her coins, her dollars, her greenbacks. And I see nothing with her husband. What, what You know, she's supposed to be a mad keeper. And I can really believe that, too. Because I'm still looking for what Todd bringing out on his own okay he even started a youtube channel and it was doing well thus far but then it's like he slowed up doing that and i'm like damn do you ever be consistent with anything todd but it's just here what it is you know she love him i like him and that's all that really matters right Okay, but y'all need to watch that um, Candy uh, and the Gang because I, I plan on watching it. And I know I'm going to get me some laughs and some kikis off her family members because they, I'm telling you, they like some of my family members. You, you, you don't want to miss them. Well, some of them you do want to miss. <laughs> but the ones that really are uh, really just down in your soul, you just love them, but they just too well outspoken <laughs> and too versed on certain conversations and they have no filter. Girl, they just give me, I don't know, a beautiful sunshine, real sunshine in my spirit. Where I'm like, damn, I'm gonna miss them when they gone off this plane of existence, or I'm gonna, or they gonna miss me. <laughs> but yeah, yes, kudos to Carter B. Standing up for herself and her family, and her mental health, because uh, Tasha K over there was pretty much destroying her, tearing her up from the from the head of her top of her head to the soles of her feet and i can't believe that was kind of like you know messed up especially when she didn't do some of this stuff that um Carter b and the jurors felt she said and did upon her and made money off of it so good job Carter b for coming in atlanta showing up and showing out doing your thing girl and that's all i have for this particular video guys so yep this is the messy mess uh episode we finna talk about the mess <laughs> not why you telling my business don't be telling my business that's our strategic going another whole way but when we want to talk about celebrities doing some messy messy stuff okay and chin checking folks out here this is what it's going to be called <laughs> we got to talk about the messy mess all right all right, guys, y'all be breezy. I will see y'all next video, and we will continue the conversation. All right, guys, bye-bye.